हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स बैक टू पेन एंड पेपर केमिस्ट्री विद योर नोटबुक एंड पेन सो एज टू टेक डाउन नोट्स फॉर ऑफलाइन रेफरेंस वी कंटिन्यू विद द टॉपिक ऑफ एरोमेटिक एल्डिहाइड्स एंड कीटोन्स नॉमन क्लेचर ऑफ एल्डिहाइड्स एंड कीटोन्स डन यस डन Preparation of uh, aldehydes and ketones, aromatic aldehydes and ketones. Done? Yes, done. Flow chart already shared. We are now going on to the properties of aromatic aldehydes and ketones. And as you can see, it's a very very simple chart because most of the properties. of aromatic aldehydes and ketones are the same as those for aliphatic compounds so now what you have to do is based on your learning about aliphatic aldehydes and ketones which we have dealt with earlier in great detail please start writing the reactions of aromatic aldehyde so probably you can take the example of c6h5cho and then start writing the reaction with hydrogen cyanide in a basic medium sodium bisulfite with ammonia derivatives remember hydroxylamine hydrazine phenyl hydrazine and so on grignard's reagent reduction reactions oxidation reactions canizero reaction crossed canizero reaction claisen condensation and tschenko reaction so i have zoomed it for you so that you can see it and write the reactions once you write the reactions this will definitely give you confidence in uh the complete chapter chapter as a whole when it comes to reactions of aromatic ring that means the benzene ring do you remember we spoke about electrophilic substitution reactions and we have till now taken five examples in all compounds that we have done especially phenols so we spoke about halogenation sulfonation nitration friedel crafts acylation and friedel crafts alkylation notice something in the products which are formed over here with respect to the cho group the incoming group is entering into so this is the ortho position this is the meta position this is the para position this is entering into yes of course the meta position so for clarity this is ortho meta and para position that means the cho group that we've got is meta directing group also notice that i have not written any other reactions after this right that means it doesn't encourage the ring to undergo further substitution so that is why we have written that the cho group in benzaldehyde or aromatic aldehydes is meta directing and ring deactivating in case you want to clear your concept regarding these two points there is a separate video on the channel where we have discussed ortho meta and para substitution in aromatic compounds and what kind of groups are uh, ring activating and what kind of groups are ring deactivating and once you go through that video you know aromatic react reactions of the aromatic compounds will become very very easy for you so now looking at the flow chart go ahead and write the reactions of nitration sulfonation chlorination yes friedel crafts acylation and alkylation do not happen because the ring is not activated enough in order to undergo those reactions lastly is a compilation of all the tests which are given and which are not shown by benzaldehyde because if you see in the case of aromatic aldehydes and ketones we are mainly concentrating upon benzaldehyde c6 h5 cho this is the compound that we will be concentrating on for the level that 
I am covering the videos on the channel. Of course, there is no end to acquiring knowledge, but we have to draw a line, right? So go ahead. Now look at what you've got over here. In the case of aldehydes, aromatic aldehydes and ketones, what kind of tests are shown by them? Acidified KMnO4, yes, purple to colorless. Tollens reagent, yes, they do give a silver mirror. I'm talking about aromatic aldehydes here. Ketones don't give. Felling solution, oh, interestingly, aromatic aldehydes are not giving us the test with felling solution or even Benedict solution, that is the brick red precipitate is not given. Schiff's reagent, yes, they do restore the pink color, right? So that means benzaldehyde can only be oxidized by strong oxidizing agents and not by the weak ones. If you recall, we had said that in the case of aldehydes on oxidation, uh, they get converted to the COOH group. So, the weak reagents over here are not able to bring about this conversion in the case of aromatic aldehydes and ketones, whereas uh, in the case of aliphatic, all these reactions are a tick. Yes, silver mirror. Yes, brick red precipitate, right? Brick red precipitate over here restores pink color. So, in the case of aliphatic, all these tests are shown. What about aromatic ketones? Do you remember in the case of ketones, there is a specific test that we spoke about. Yes, aliphatic ketones don't give you these tests, but ketones give a special kind of test, especially the methyl ketones. Can you recall what test it was? So what we've done over here is we've tried to compile these different results in one place. Reagent, whether the aliphatic aldehydes do give this test or not. So you see there's a tick for every box. Acidified KMnO4, Tollens, Fellings, Benedicts, Shifts. Of course, exceptions are always there. These are basic generalizations. Ketones don't give these tests, but remember ketones give a special test. I, we were just now talking about. Were you able to recall? And what about aromatic aldehydes? Yes, KMnO4. Yes, Tollens. No fellings. No Benedicts. Yes, shifts. Yes, you got it right. It's the iodoform reaction, which is shown by compounds having the CH3CO group known as methyl ketones or compounds which can get converted into the CH3CO group. So, if you see over here, I have got a secondary uh, alcoholic group, CHOH group over here. So, any compound which has the CH3CO group or CH3CHOH group will be able to give us the iodoform reaction. So, that is why we have uh, shortlisted a few ones for you over here. So, we have methanol. No, it does not. So, that is why I have written it in red and there is a strike through. Then CH3CO. Yes, it does give the iodoform reaction. Acetone. Yes, of course. Look at the aromatic ketones. You see over here, CH3CO group, right? Now, because of the presence of the CH3CO group, it is, will it show the iodoform reaction? Yes, it does. Whereas, in the case of a benzophenone, so you remember from nomenclature, acetophenone and benzophenone. Acetophenone, yes, it will give us the iodoform test, whereas benzophenone will not. Interesting. How tabulating our results and tabulating the data helps to make chemistry easy and fun. So, now your 
task is to take a screenshot of this chart and draw it yourself with your own hand maybe in different colors like i have tried to show or in one color whatever is your choice last but not the least i would advise you to list the uses of all of them in a tabular form so probably the aldehydes and ketones so you can list the uses of aldehydes and ketones in separate columns maybe with a few examples to complete the compilation of your notes for reference make sure that all your notes are in one place so that when you write or when you prepare for your examinations you don't have to open 3 4 websites in order to practice you can just look at your notes your handwritten notes and be able to relate to what you have learned yourself it will also give you the confidence that yes you've done this topic once and you will be able to recall easily i am now working on the flow chart for carboxylic acids so make sure that you stay connected and come back for a discussion of the same take care and enjoy learning chemistry see you soon